hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, ne? Und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, beim letzten Mal, da sind wir ins DLC eingetaucht, haben zwei neue Freunde kennengelernt und wollen jetzt heute in die Dämonenwelt 2 reisen, den Grünen Garten. Ins Reich 4, ne, tippe ich jetzt mal drauf, äh, so wie es hier aussieht. Also da gehen wir gleich hinein. Aber vorher gibt es erst noch ein paar Bandgespräche. Wie immer, über mir ist ein Zeitstempel, wenn ihr diese überspringen wollt. Und wir sehen uns dann jetzt gleich in der Schlacht wieder. Oh, Christ, do you have a moment? I do define one. What is it? Uh, why are you standing like that? Are you okay? I'm preparing to bow. And why are you doing that? I want to be ready in case I need to apologize for something. For the love of... There's no need for that. I just wanted to discuss that wolf incident. Oh? What about it? I need you to understand something about me and about you. I'm not higher. You're not lower. We share the same footing. Try not to think or act otherwise, okay? I wish I could follow that order, but... I just don't believe it. Hey, come on. Why is it so hard for you to accept that? I'm very sorry to disappoint you, Divine One. I guess it can't be helped. I worry, but you do get results. Keep handling things your own way. My own way? Are you sure? I'm aware that I often bring the mood down around others, and I struggle with... compliments. I'm nowhere near as confident as my brother, so I'm sure my hesitation frustrates people, despite all of that. You really think it's okay for me to keep handling things my own way? I do, but I hope that someday you'll take what I've been saying to heart. Very well. Thank you for your advice, Divine One. I've been thinking about how you said you are not a good person. I heartily disagree. For example, I've watched you go out of your way to help people in town. My past actions serve as evidence that I am otherwise. I strive now only for penance. I once wished to live a humble life. I followed the Fell Dragon as I was taught. That path led to my becoming the enemy of many. Most notably, you. But those days are gone. Anything I say will be a weak excuse for my part in my own downfall. I failed to stop Lady Vale or the Rampage of the Four Hounds. So long as I bear those sins, I am unworthy of redemption or forgiveness. My acts of kindness toward the people of this town are only a selfish attempt at atonement. I... <laughs> Any words of praise from anyone, especially you, give me no pleasure. Only suffering. How long do you expect your penance to last? I do not know. I do not think my work will be done. Even after death, I am guilty of too much to hope otherwise. I vow to protect you, Prince Alchrist. Lapis? Like I keep saying, I'm your retainer. Protecting you is my job, but I'm not doing this because I have to. I want to protect you. Why in the world would you want to protect me? I'm not worth it. That. That right there. That's what I'm talking about when I say you have no idea. You said that last time, that I had no idea how you felt. It's not about my feelings, Prince Alchrist. You have no idea how great you really are. How great I am? You're so... so perceptive. You always know so much about other people. Yet you choose to focus on each person's best qualities. You find skills no one else notices. I can't even count all the times you've lifted me up by reminding me what I'm good at. It's easy to notice those things when everyone else is more skilled than I am. Drastically so. No, that's not true. It's because you're a kind person, Prince Alchrist. 
You're skilled and kind and so charming. Yet you'd throw your life away to keep others safe. Even the retainers who protect you. Do you really think that's supposed to make me happy? Oh, in that case, what if we form an alliance of protection? What does that mean? It means I will vow to protect you and accept your protection of me. And you'll do the same. That way, we both protect someone we care for and accept that we are cared for in return. <laughs> Much better. You finally sound like the kind prince that you are. Count me in. I'm glad to hear it. Let's try this again. But together this time, I vow to protect you, Lapis. And I vow to protect you, Prince Alchrist. Thank you. And I accept. Hey, Jade. Got a sec? Certainly, Princess Tamara. What do you need? I hear that you're from a mining town, so you know a lot about minerals and stuff. That's right. My father was a gemologist, so I picked up a fair bit of knowledge. Perfect! Seeing as you're such an expert, wanna go mineral hunting with me? You're going mineral hunting? Yep. See, I'm on the hunt for a big, fabulous jewel to be. I already have a place in mind, but I'm not sure how to go about finding a gem there. Ah, I understand why you came to me. I wouldn't mind joining you, but if you're interested in jewels, why not visit a jeweler? You are royalty, after all. I'm sure they'd sell you as many rare stones as you want. Yeah, but that's no fun. I'd much rather find one for myself. You know, do it the old-fashioned way. I see. That's a rare perspective. Well, if that's the plan, I'll be happy to guide you. I'll take a few notes along the way. I might be able to mine some ideas for my next novel. Perfect! I get a dazzling jewel, and you get a dazzling protagonist. Win-win! <sighs> Lady Vale seems safe enough. For the time being, anyway. I must not be noticed following her. I will stay back and observe without being seen. I cannot imagine explaining to Marnie that I allowed harm to befall Lady Vale. Mavir, I see you following me. Lady Vale? So you don't think I can take care of myself? Is that what this is? No. Or, or rather, yes. I mean, I know you are very capable. But I also worry. It is my duty as a knight to keep you safe. You're not just a knight. You're also my friend. Instead of worrying about me, try trusting me. A friend? I did not know. If that is the case, please tell me why you walk through town alone. As your friend, I am concerned for your safety. I want to understand why you would do that. <sighs> I do it to atone for my sins. A lot of people were hurt because of me. I need to find something good I can do for this town. Lady Vale, since that is the case, it is important that I be by your side. As one of the Four Hounds, I also committed sins for which I must atone. You are not alone in your feelings, or your goal. You have such a good heart, Mavir. And I'm lucky to have you as a friend. So, will you help me? Can we find something good to do for this town together? Of course, Lady Vale. Well, well, you're branching nicely. I'm sure you will be delicious one day. In the meantime, I'll water you plenty so you grow big and healthy. Oh, is this your garden? Mavir, what are you doing here? Keeping guard. What manner of vegetables are you growing? I plant a variety this time of year, though most won't grow until later. Nothing is better than homegrown produce. Cook it just a bit and you have a masterpiece. You are also raising flowers. Are they for cooking as well? Oh, no. These flowers are just for looking at. And smelling. The scent of fresh flowers has a way of easing the soul. Here, sniff. Huh. What a lovely fragrance. You are correct. It is quite calming. You've been working too hard. 
Why not drop by here to relax now and then? That sounds... nice. Yes, I believe I will come by from time to time. Oh, hello, clan. Did you get a chance to make those peppery pickles yet? Well, yes. I'm sort of nervous about how bright red the brine is turning, though. It'll be all right. I'm sure they're going to be so tasty. I can't wait to try them. Oh. What's wrong? You got so quiet all of a sudden. It just sort of struck me that you remind me of my sister. Your sister? Why do you say that? You said things would work out even though you've got no proof. She does that all the time. That's a rude thing to say. Huh? I'm sorry. It's okay. You and your sister are twins, right? Mm-hmm. I'm the older one. I wonder what having a sibling around is like. W what do you mean? I mean, I was apart from my sibling for so long. I feel like I don't know what it's like. Not really. It's hard to make up for all the lost time. I guess I don't know how to act like... family. To be honest, I'm jealous of you. You could spend so much time with your sister. Hmm. I think having a sibling is like... I guess sisters and probably brothers are like air. What do you mean? You take air for granted, but you'd miss it a lot if it went away. I don't know if that makes sense. Yes. I think I understand. I would like to be that. A sister who's like heir to someone. You can totally be that. Family is family. It doesn't matter how far apart you live. You're somebody's heir. Thank you, clan. I really needed to hear that. Um, Pandreo? Hey, is something the matter? I don't understand. How did I end up with all this food? Let's see. Vegetables, wheat, meat, fish. That's quite a haul you've got. There's so much. I don't even know what to do with it all. Why is everyone sending me these gifts? They're not gifts, exactly. They're offerings. People's way of expressing their faith in you. I understand that the people who live in the Kingdom of Solm are quite free-spirited, but why are you... Why is everyone being so kind to me? It's just... It doesn't make sense. Well, as angry and vengeful as humans can be, they can also be compassionate, forgiving. Many people, in Solm and beyond, recognize that you've changed for the better. I'm sure if they met you in person, they would show you nothing but kindness. They would? Really? If that's how it is, I suppose I'd like to give something back to everyone. They've given me the gift of happiness, and I want to repay them. I like it. What did you have in mind? Hey, Claude. I've heard you're called the Master Tactician. I'd love to get some pointers. Wow, so serious right off the bat. Okay, set your sword aside for a bit. We'll walk and talk. Strange. For a while, I've been having a hard time concentrating on simple tasks. Given the rumble I just heard, could it be that you're just hungry? Proper planning and information are more important than anything else, don't you think? I agree. Without sufficient information, it would be impossible to snare the enemy in a trap. I am still learning, but my mother and father were splendid knights. I could have guessed from watching you. I'm certain your parents think of you with pride. It is an honor to know you, Emblem Dimitri. Thank you for lending us your aid. The honor is entirely mine. I look forward to helping however I can.
On a battlefield far from all you know, how will you prove your bravery? In the savage garden of blood and steel, who will meet their end? Cast the four thrones to fire. Lay seven flames in the cradle. But there is one who knows the truth. In this world, there is no future. My lonely heart does not beat here. Here we are, Divine One. Welcome to the Kingdom of Firene. <laughs> it may not be my place to say that, as a visitor here myself, but I felt someone ought to. It's strange. Just like Lethos Castle, this place feels familiar, but not. If we are finished discussing the scenery, allow me to remind you of the task that lies before us. We are to go to Firinay Castle and acquire the bracelet of the Brash General. And time is of the essence. We must collect all seven bracelets before our enemy does. I hope the royal family is willing to hand theirs over. But I do have my doubts. You know how ill-tempered the Firinese can be. What? The people I know from Firine are good-natured and peaceful. Is that so? In this world, they are vengeful and quick to violence. The royal family most of all. That made them useful allies in wartime, despite their disdain for fell dragons. But ever since the Divine Dragon's death, they have completely avoided visiting us in Lethos. And who is the ruler here? Queen Eve? No. She died at the start of the last war. And her throne remained empty until after the war ended, when King Alfred took her place. But as Nils said, he subsequently cut ties with us. We were forced to take precautions. So we asked a trusted friend to be our eyes and ears in Firene. She is due to meet us here shortly. Lady Nell, Lord Nell, hello, hello. Celestia, we were just talking about you. Huh? I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You must be so tired after that long trek. A trifle compared to your intelligence work here, I am sure. Oh, that was nothing, Lady Nell. But who's this you brought with you? Oh, how is it you remind me so much of the Divine Dragon? Uh, actually... Glorious day! Divine One, you've been reborn! I knew you could never leave us. Not permanently, anyway. <laughs> it's so obvious! How could I ever believe Sombron bested the Divine Dragon Monarch? Zelestia, as much as I hate to let you down, this is not who you think it is. Sorry for the confusion. I'm actually the Divine Dragon of another world. What? We should have let you know sooner. This is not the old friend you and I knew. Rather, this is the savior whom Nil and I summoned with an ancient ritual. This divine dragon arrived in the castle sanctuary after your departure to Firene. I... I see. Of course. What was I thinking? I was there when we buried the divine dragon. I held that lifeless hand in mine as we said our goodbyes. I know this is difficult, Celestia. Forgive me. I shouldn't have gotten so emotional. That loss was just as difficult for the two of you. Divine One, my name is Celestia. I am a mage dragon of some small renown. I always considered both you and Queen Lumera of this world to be my family. It's an honor to make your acquaintance. No, please. Let's skip past acquaintances and just be friends. How funny! That's just what the Divine Dragon I knew would have said. But say, is there someone like me living in your world too? Well... <laughs> Silly of me to ask. 
Of course she's there, and no doubt a great help in your fight against Sombron. <sighs> what news of Firenay Castle, Celestia? You were stationed there for some time. Indeed, I was. Firenay is making plans to invade its northern neighbor. Brodia. The idea was Princess Saline's. It's technically still waiting for King Alfred's approval. But that hasn't stopped the young princess from mustering a force of elite knights. We can no longer stand by and simply watch how this unfolds. Agreed. We must go to the castle and head off this war before it begins. Another thing. Firenay's emblem has been... altered somehow since the last time I saw it. We'll need to be careful. Yes. Now, let us proceed to the castle and reclaim the bracelet of the Brash General. I only hope Alfred and Saline are willing to talk with us. Still, Alfred? Still undecided about whether to invade? Don't rush me, Saline. This is a big decision. I need time to think it over. No, you need to take action. It's not that easy. Brodia was our ally. If we pick a fight with them, there's no going back. Since Mother and our retainers died in the last war, it falls to us to defend our people. Don't you know they are suffering? With the Divine Dragon gone, the world is falling to ruin. Our crops and flowers are losing their color. Soon the farms will go barren. The only possible remedy is to expand our territory and supplement our resources. Now! I know, I know. As a mining economy, Brodia can spare the resources we need. So an invasion could really help us out with wealth and minerals. It's a decent plan, but there's a big hole in it. The strength of Brodia's military. Which is precisely why I assembled an order of knights to defeat them. Or is it their emblem you worry about? That silly princess is no match for the brash general. Nothing certain. No matter how good our odds look, we could still lose everyone. Or don't you remember? Our retainer so sure they'd come out on top, all falling like petals. That was the same day our strongest ally, the Divine Dragon, left us forever. You have changed, Alfred. You used to be afraid of nothing and no one. When the Divine Dragon was lost, so too was your spine. I will handle it then. Meaning what? Meaning I will head to Brodia on my own, without your permission. With no knights? Are you trying to get killed? Facing either death by the sword, or a broken heart as our people die? I choose the former. Should I perish, perhaps a real hero will emerge and lead our people. I'm content with that. As for the Brodians, if they must suffer in order for our people to live, so be it. After all, one country's loss is another's gain. I just can't get through to you, can I? It's not your fault you were cursed with a stubborn fool for a sister. However, if you want her to have any hope of survival, you must make a choice. What will it be, your majesty? <sighs> you win. You're the only family I have left. If you're set on this, I'll at least give you a fighting chance. Consider the invasion approved. Thank you, Alfred. Let's go. I'll give your knights official notice to prepare for battle. Wait. Please. Who goes there? King Alfred? Princess Selene? It has been quite some time. Pardon the interruption, but we are here to discuss an urgent matter. Well, if it isn't Nell, then Nil. You know, I could have you executed for barging in here uninvited. True. Simply return the bracelet of the Brash General to us and we will leave you alone. Oh, please. If we turned it over, the balance of power between nations would fall apart. So you intend to continue to wield it as a weapon against your peers? It is precisely because they do the same that you now stand upon the brink of war. I do not think the Divine Dragon would find this behavior acceptable. Oh! You presume to speak on behalf of the Divine Dragon? Curious, considering your father was the one who denied us Divine Counsel forever. How dare you! We had nothing to do with that! 
How many times must we tell you that we are not Sombron? Control yourself, Nil. Of course. I'm sorry. Rest assured that we are making the same journey to each of the other bracelet holders. We are reclaiming all of them. With that in mind, there is no need for you to keep Viranaeus any longer. How do we know this isn't a trick to weaken us and strengthen our enemies? Show us proof you took the other country's bracelets, and then we'll talk. Firene is our first destination. We have not reclaimed the other bracelets yet. Then there is nothing more to discuss. We march to Brodia. The bracelet's power is indispensable to our invasion efforts. We will not simply hand it over. Still, you refuse to comply. In that case, you have left us with no choice. If it's a battle you want, we will be only too happy to oblige. Please, stop! I don't want to fight the two of you! Divine One? No. No, of course not. How come you feel like the Divine Dragon? You told us our friend was dead, you wretches! Were you lying to us? No, I'm from another world. What? No. There's only one explanation. This must be one of the corrupted. The fell dragons used their vile magic to make this twisted puppet of our fallen friend. That's not true. Listen to me. We don't listen to imposters. I can't believe you Felspawn did something so sick just to steal our bracelet. No doubt the tears you shed over the Divine Dragon's death were a trick as well. I thought as former allies, we could resolve this peacefully. Your deceit changes things. No. Knights, get ready for battle. See to it that Sombron's children are finally put down. We'll bring their severed heads to Brody as a symbol of our might! Yes, there is the brother I know. The fearsome man they called the Prince of Strewn Flowers. Now, as you did in the war, cast our foes to the ground like so many mangled roses. If your spirit is trapped in there, Divine One, I'll set you free. Alfred, no. It seems conflict is unavoidable. I knew this would happen, but it's just as well. Their disrespect for Lady Nell and Lord Nil cannot go unanswered. Prepare yourself, Divine One. These may be familiar faces, but they will show you no mercy. Holy shit! Die haben sich aber stark verändert, die beiden. Äh, was haben wir denn hier vor uns? Okay, ich sehe schon mal viele Ki-Adepten. Und hat er so viele Tränke bei sich. Okay. Die hat Elchendonner und ein Donnerschwert. Und er hat das Emblem. Das von Emblem Hector, wie es scheint. Wolf bei effektiv gegen Briten und Gepanzerte. Okay, das wird eine lustige Schlacht. Ich sehe hier auch zwei Kisten auf der Karte. Behalte ich das Zeug? Eher weniger, ne? Was auch immer da drin ist. Ich werde es wahrscheinlich nur für diese Schlacht haben. Na gut, Leute. Ich muss jetzt erstmal mal die Truppen empressen. Ich habe hier offenbar ein bisschen mehr Auswahlmöglichkeit als im vorherigen Kapitel. Also sehen wir uns gleich wieder in ein paar Sekunden. So, Leute. Ich bin jetzt mit dem Anpassen der Truppen fertig. Ich habe mal hier Celine... Und Alfred ins Team geholt, weil es könnte doch bestimmt interessante Gespräche geben, wenn ich sie äh, mit ihren Gegenparts konfrontiere. Also mit Alfred und Celine. Dass ich sie bei äh, ihnen damit mal angreife. Zumindest hoffe ich, dass da irgendwas passiert. Falls nicht, habe ich mir den Spaß umsonst erlaubt. Aber ich bin... Und bin ja experimentierfreudig. Ich würde einfach mal sagen, let's go. Saying goodbye is always painful. I hope you die without suffering. Ich bin echt Alfred. Okay. 
Ich nehme mal das Donnerschwert und hau hier drauf. Hat funktioniert. Im Übrigen, ich will es nochmal erwähnen, ich versuche mich hauptsächlich darauf zu konzentrieren, direkt die Bosse fertig zu machen. Weil die kleinen Minions zu vernichten, macht nicht sonderlich viel Sinn. Ich habe übrigens mal Pandreo statt Framme ins Team geholt, weil er der wesentlich bessere Heiler ist. Also sein Heilwert ist höher und er kann Magie nutzen, deswegen habe ich ihn mal mitgenommen. So, wo wir schon beim Thema Magie sind. Wir wissen ja aus Erfahrung, gepanzerte und Magie verträgt sich nicht. So. Support Units. Time to fortify the troops with your supplies. We advance. Nein, bleibt mal ruhig da hinten. Daneben. Ja, ich habe vergessen, den Schnitt auszurüsten. Ja, Pantheo mitzunehmen war eine gute Entscheidung. Es war eine sehr gute Entscheidung. So, dann mal hier. Angriff, dass du den anderen nicht mehr protectest. So, mit elf nicht mal ich dich weg. Das passt dann schon. Kriegst mal den Speer. So, kann sonst nichts machen. Elfen Donne, go! Die mit den Panzerungen müssen weg. Und Elfenwind. So, den können wir auch direkt vernichten, dann sind die Schlimmsten schon mal weg. So, nochmal, Speer, mögest du fliegen? Ich liebe es, wenn mein Speer in sein Gesicht fliegt. Immer so schön anzusehen. Und Rip. So, und dich kann ich mit dunkler Funke vernichten. Ich liebe dieses Leuchten. Also diese Animation. Ich liebe sie einfach. Was hat der da gerade gemacht? Den kannst du abdrücken. Tschüss. Es ist schade, dass ich weder XP noch äh, Emblemerfahrung bekomme. Ja, die da oben, die sind mir relativ egal. So, Elfendonner. Dann mache ich dich jetzt weg. So, einmal dunkler Funke. Körperwahrscheinlichkeit ist gerade echt niedrig. Hat aber trotzdem funktioniert. Was hast du da für so einen komischen Effekt auf dir drauf? Okay, Immunität gegen Bruch. So, auf dich einmal Elfendonner. 
Oh, ein Crit. So schön. Ich glaube, ich schieße hier mal den Astersturm los. Und vernichte mal äh, den einen Schwertypen hier. So, du bist immun gegen Bruch. Schön, dann sei immun gegen Bruch. Aber das hier überlebst du nicht. Ich komme hier übrigens echt langsam voran. Ich gucke, dass ich meine Truppen jetzt oben zusammensammle. Weil ich will mich dann zuerst auf Alfred konzentrieren. Oh, sie wandern los. Alfred kommt zu mir. So, dir kann ich eins mit dem Elfendonner rein donnern. Dann ist der schon mal vorgeschwächt. So, komm ruhig her. Der haut wieder ab. Was genau hat er gerade gemacht? Der macht schon wieder so ein komisches Ding auf sich. Vielleicht hier er lebt in einem physischen Schaden? Warte. Die können meinen Schaden reflektieren? Um Gottes Willen. Ich gönne mir jetzt die Truhe. Dunkler Funke. Gut, dass der Drache auch gut dadurch kommt. Warum kann ich hier nicht durch? Das Reflektieren ist ekelhaft. Er erlitt einen magischen Schaden für einen Zug. Na gut. Zillin und Alfred. Das, äh, das klingt für mich äh, halt so, als ob da irgendwas passiert. Zillin? Warum are you fighting with the enemy? No. My eyes must be deceiving me. Eventuell. So, ich werfe dir dann auch noch mal einen Speer als Alfred entgegen. Es klingt für mich lustig, wenn Alfred Alfred vernichtet. Wait. Are you me? What's going on? Is this some twisted illusion of the Fell Dragon? Hmm, looks like the Alfred in this world isn't so buff either. Huh. I wonder if it's just hard for me to build muscle no matter which world I'm in. What in the world is this trickery? If you're an illusion, I command you to vanish. Wow. Guess he's got more vigor than I thought. I'm looking forward to fighting against myself. Okay, wenn ne äh wenn da Charaktere sind, dieselben nutzen. Das gibt auf jeden Fall ein Gespräch. Vermerkt. Haben die auch irgendwas zu sagen, wenn sie gegen ihn kämpfen? Ich kann ihm ja einen Tomahawk ins Gesicht werfen. Dann weiß ich's. Komm und test your Metal. But there's no way you can defeat the Brash General. Okay, Neil hat schon nichts zu sagen. Nell wahrscheinlich auch nichts. Aber bei mir hast du doch bestimmt irgendwas zu sagen, oder? Ich bin echt. It's such a shame. Alfred, please. Listen to me. I don't want to make things harder for you, but I bet you were told to say that. My old friend. Don't worry. I'll help you out. War der göttliche in dieser Welt nicht eigentlich ein Kerl? No one will ever coerce you again. 
Hallo. Und tschüss. Er siegt. Und dann kann ich ihn ja mit dem dunklen Wucken vernichten. Niedlich. Reflektierst du noch? Scheinbar nicht. Das, was hinter mir erschien. Finde ich jetzt aber nicht nett. Ganz und gar nicht. Du machst eh keinen Damage. Kann ich dir auch eine reinwürgen. Vielleicht mache ich ja einen Crit. Der Crit macht halt wesentlich mehr Schaden als alles andere. Tomahawk. So, tschüss. Und obskurile Attacken hier. Ja, sehr schön. Sie kommen zu mir hin. Das macht es leichter. Tschüss. Ja, die bringen sich jetzt selbst um. Ich ignoriere die extra. Sollen sie sich doch selber vernichten, dann komme ich wenigstens voran. Quer zu Celine. Warum steht hier schon wieder einer? Speer, los. Kommt Celine mir entgegen? Ja. So, komm ein bisschen näher. They made a corrupted that looks like Alfred? How vile! Das ist aber nicht nett. So, wenn ich äh, mit ihr angreife, scheine ich offenbar nicht umzubringen. So, Celine gegen Celine. Invading Brodia? I've never had a more stupid idea. Open your eyes, Celine. What do you mean? Are you... me? Is this more Fell Dragon trickery? Your pleas mean nothing. For the happiness of my people, evaporate with the dew. All that will evaporate are your ambitions. You should think hard about what you are doing. You cannot buy peace with warfare. Hör auf, Celine, Celine. Warum war mein Elfendonner jetzt stärker? Fragen über Fragen, die niemals beantwortet werden. Weil Celine jetzt drauf gehen wird. Ich packe mich schon mal aus dem Bild. Ich bin nicht verzerrt. Also ich war es mal, aber ich bin es nicht mehr. Wie kriegbesessen bist du in dieser Welt? 
Überhaupt kein Vergleich. Ja, aber nicht so. Andreo war der Held hier? Hat sich nicht so angefühlt, aber okay. This is it. The bracelet of the brash general. Emblem Hector dwells within. A brave leader who embodies the fighting spirit of the Pyrenees. He was once daring and gallant. Now, as Celestia informs us, he is tainted by evil. I wish I could summon him again. Give him a fresh start. There is no point lamenting what cannot be changed. I will return him to slumber now. Rest easy, Emblem Hector. Thank you. Again, the Emblem speaks. Seems a shame to drift off so soon. But I suppose it's not all bad. I just hope we can all stride into battle together. Someday. I'm sure we will. You put the general to bed, I see. King Alfred, please, call off your invasion. <sighs> Without the bracelet, I don't have much choice. But Nil just told me you're from another world. Is that true? Yes, it's true. Adds up, I guess. If you were our divine dragon, you wouldn't have taken our bracelet by force. You'd have sided with us. Or you'd at least have been nicer. Clearly, you're not the friend I knew. Alfred. But still, I'm glad I met you. You may not be from this world, but I can tell you have the Divine Dragon's heart. Sorry about before. I really did think you were one of the corrupted. For my part, I owe an apology to Nell and Nil. I insulted you, tying you unfairly to Sombron. You are not to blame for his actions. I am deeply, truly sorry for losing my composure. Noted. We were all devastated to lose our beloved Divine Dragon. Of course we understand. <sighs> hey, I've got an idea. How about you take us with you? A little extra muscle might come in handy if you're going around collecting bracelets. Yes, an excellent idea. I already have my knights assembled. They could come as well. Absolutely. It would be a great comfort having you two on our side. Alas, we cannot. Huh? Why not? It is out of the question. And it is not your choice to make, Divine One. While it is true that we summoned you for help, this is not your army. Whatever authority you are accustomed to in your own world does not apply here. Right. Sorry. You'll have to forgive us, Divine One. Nell is harsh, but she speaks the truth. I am also opposed to allowing the Firenese to join us. What do I have to say here? Are you gonna make me beg? I need to make up somehow for treating you all so badly. Let me help keep you safe. The battlefield is no place for a king. The people need their ruler to watch over them. Not only that, But think of what would become of your kingdom if it were to lose you. Firene would be left entirely without a monarch. Or even an heir. Then at least let Salian and her knights go with you. The king's sister is every bit as indispensable. And the knights must defend their castle. If your intention is to make amends to us, then I would ask you to think foremost of yourselves. Fair enough. If that is your wish, we will accept it. Shall we keep our bracelet here in Firene? Why? I can assure you, we will not misuse it. After all, we can awaken sleeping emblems. But if our enemy wants to collect the bracelets, is it not safer to keep them apart? That would be logical. But for the likelihood that our enemy has the power to awaken emblems. If that is so, the emblem's slumber becomes irrelevant. And if that happens, There is no telling what havoc the Brash General will wreak. Hmm. Better to keep them with you, since you can put them back to sleep. Makes sense. I appreciate your understanding. Nothing more to discuss, then. 
We'll head back inside and leave the bracelet with you. Sorry to give it up, but at least it's in the right hands. More importantly, Divine One? Yes? The hardest part of all this is saying goodbye to you, my old ally. But I'm so glad you're back. When we lost you, I... I was beside myself. Uh, Alfred, I'm not the Divine Dragon you knew, remember? Nell explained it. Oh, right. <laughs> Silly me. I'm new to the throne, so I've been burning the candle at both ends. Guess I'm a little worn out. Not very becoming of a king, is it? If I'm not careful, people will start to talk. It's all right. I am here to support you, Alfred. Let's head back so you can rest, hmm? I will begin thinking about ways to revive industry here in Firene, without resorting to war. As for you all, when your mission is done, please do come back and visit with us. Yeah. Best of luck. Was Alfred all right? He seemed to be acting a little strange. Probably just terrified. My sister does have that effect on people when she's angry. I was not angry. Nell's got a point, though. You were too harsh with your words. I refused their offer to join us on principle. You did not have the right to invite them. I already apologized for that, didn't I? Uh, Lord Nil? Is there something going on between those two? They've been tense with each other from the very start. It is becoming a bit of a problem. I wish I could convince them to get along. Perhaps it's hard to accept that this one is in fact a different person. It is quite unexpected. In the past, Lady Nell was so... I am right here, you know. Uh, my apologies. At least there were no assassins this time. I'm not sure I could have handled that. It was hard enough just fighting Alfred and Saline. That does not mean they will not show up again. We should remain on guard. You don't think we might be fighting twins, do you? Twins? Back at Lethos, Nell mentioned that fell dragon children are always born as twins. It's just a thought. It is possible. But nearly all fell dragon children lose their twin siblings as they mature. I do not think it is terribly likely. Sorry, did you say lose their twin siblings? This is the first I've heard of it. Lady Nell and Lord Nil, you're still together. We are exceptionally fortunate to be so. Then I'm glad neither of you lost your other half. That would have been awful. <laughs> kind of you to say. There is no point to baseless speculation. Let us focus on reclaiming Brodia's bracelet. Right. Your world's Brodia. I'm curious to see what kind of place it is. It seems like we lose more siblings by the day. Pairs of twins like us do seem to be getting rare. More and more. I see them talking about killing one another. They call each other weak. They laugh at twins who haven't fought to the death yet. Unthinkable. I'll be next. I'm sure of it. They'll come for a failure like me any day now. Do not say such things. But it's true. Stronger ones than me have already died. Ones who are much more useful to father. Even if I'm not next, it's only a matter of time. I'm so scared. Nell, listen to me. Come what may, I will protect you. I swear it. Okay, als nächstes geht es nach Brodia. Ich bin schon gespannt, wie Diamant und Alquis in dieser Realität sind. Im Übrigen, ich hab's, äh, meine ich halt eben nicht erwähnt, aber ich äh, fand's äh, irgendwo lustig, als Celestia äh, vor uns stand. <lacht> und dann auch noch sagte, in eurer Welt helfe ich euch bestimmt, den Dämonen dran zu besiegen. <lacht> ja, einmal hast du mir geholfen, ansonsten hast du mir den Tag versorgt. <lacht> ich musste da ein bisschen lachen, beziehungsweise schmunzeln. Also, ja. Das war der Part für heute. Beim nächsten Mal geht's mit Dämonenwelt 3 weiter. Ich habe ja gesagt, geht's jetzt nach Brodia. Wir gehen wahrscheinlich alle Königshäuser einmal durch. Kann man ja mit der freien Kamera einmal gucken. Ja, wahrscheinlich nach Brodia, Elusia und dann nochmal nach Solm. 
Und dann wahrscheinlich, wer auch immer der Strippenzieher ist, wird dann der darauf folgende Gegner sein. Ist zumindest meine Vermutung, wie das hier abläuft. Ich sage an der Stelle mal Ciao und bis zum nächsten Mal.